So I've already reviewed both the Galaxy Tab A and the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, which are budget and mid-range Samsung tablets respectively. Now the plan was to then go ahead and pick up the Galaxy Tab S6 so that I could make a review video on that also in a way where I would have covered tablets in the budget category, the mid-range, and also the pro category by reviewing the Galaxy Tab S6. But instead, I went ahead and reserved the new tablet, the Galaxy Tab S7. But as I was making that reservation, I really thought strongly about sticking to just getting the Tab S6. Now, do feel free to go ahead and drop some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this whole situation, whether it's just better to stick with my original plan or to go with the Tab S7. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this to kind of help my purchasing decision in regards to these two tablets. Now, clearly when it comes down to what these two tablets have to offer in terms of specs and also the experience that they offer, they share tons of similarities, but we can also find very, very major differences. Oh, by the way, please do me a huge favor and hit both the like and the subscribe button there. It's a tremendous help to the channel here. And I truly appreciate your help with this. Anyway, so what we're gonna do here is do more of a quick superficial dive into the different, the key differences on these two tablets and kind of see how they match my personal need in helping my purchasing decision. As I mentioned, I personally haven't owned the Galaxy Tab S6, but of course, by being just in the tech community, I am at least aware of what it has to offer in terms of specs. And on the same token, I am just as well aware of what the Galaxy Tab S7 has to offer, again, in terms of specs. Notably, of course, the highly anticipated Snapdragon 865 Plus on the Galaxy Tab S7 here, which is huge in terms of performance, more of a gigantic boost in terms of your productivity when using this tablet. I mean, we're talking a good 30% improved performance when compared to that of the Galaxy Tab S6, which is running a Snapdragon 855 which on its own is already a solid chip. And I know that I would not be disappointed in its performance if I were to pick that up. Because when it comes down to major tasks, I personally take them directly to my desktop because it's just easier for me to complete heavy tasks on my computer. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't want all of that processing power found in the Galaxy Tab S7. Now, another key difference here is also the refresh rate, the 120 Hertz refresh rate found on the Galaxy Tab S7 versus the Galaxy Tab S6. I have to admit that it's not really a deal breaker to me. That being said, it's still something that I would love to experience on a larger display. I mean, it's one thing to have it on a small phone, on a phone which is a smaller display like the Galaxy S20 that I had here, but it's, it would be just a different thing, a completely different experience to have that on a wider, on a bigger screen. Now, talking a screen here, the display on the Galaxy Tab S7 stands at 11 inches versus the Tab S6 at 10.5. Not a huge difference, obviously. And this is where things are a little bit flipped depending on how you see this. Now they're both Quad HD Plus displays, but you have an AMOLED display on the Galaxy Tab S6 versus an IPS display on the Galaxy Tab S7. And like many people, I would have loved for Samsung to go ahead and just stick an AMOLED on the S7 like they did on the S7 Plus. But I guess at this point, it is what it is. And unlike some people, I'm not really deterred by that because if you think about it, the iPad Pro has an IPS display. So yeah. Anyway, so the three things I just went over are kind of the main or the most significant differences. The rest of the stuff is either the same or just slightly different. The battery, for example, you are looking at 7,040 milliamp for the Galaxy Tab S6, which by the way is also that same size battery you find on the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. The Galaxy Tab S7, 8,000 milliamp. But the problem here is that the battery life becomes a little questionable on the Galaxy Tab S7, since the Galaxy Tab S7 is a more powerful tablet and is running 120 Hertz refresh rate. Another thing to bring up here about slight differences, and by that, I mean things that I won't really be able to tell the difference, like some of the stuff on the S Pen. It's supposed to have an even better response time and no lag, but I don't think I'll be doing that much more with the S Pen given my type of usage. And I have to say this again, of course, when I'm comparing these two tablets, I'm talking specifically in terms of the base units. So the base unit of the S6 
and the S7 here, they each have 128 gigs of internal storage, upgradable, they each have six gigs of RAM, the speakers, camera specs, face unlock, and all of that good stuff is virtually the same. As for now, the plan is just to keep that reservation going unless I change my mind at the last second. The plan is still to go ahead and pre-order it as soon as it's available. So what do you all think of this situation? Should I just go ahead and grab the Galaxy Tab S6 or hold my reservation for the S7 and order that as soon as it's available? I'm hoping to be able to catch you all in the comments section so we can kind of get that back and forth going about this whole situation. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, of course. I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Also, stay safe out there.